Hello, you are watching Engineering Electronics Tutorial Videos and today we are going to talk about the dark detector circuit. As you can see, this circuit detects light or as we can see the absence of light which, which is called dark. So, uh, when this LDR Dete uh, detects that uh, it is in dark or light is not falling on it this LED glows this circuit can be used in various things as like automatic room lighting and many other circuits so basically what we are going to talk about in this video we are going firstly we are going to talk about the LDR how it works and how is it used in the circuit and we are also going to talk about the comparator see uh, comparator is not a device but it is a configuration of the operational amplifier so we are also going to talk about that in this video and we are also going to talk about the uh, voltage divider these three things uh, we are going to talk about in the circuit and we will finally make this circuit of the dark detector guys get ready with your pen and paper cause the components you'll need are as follows okay so now we have all the parts we need so let us get into building the circuit but before we make the circuit let us understand how the circuit works let us now learn how a comparator works so this here is the op amp as a comparator so two voltages are uh, two voltages are provided at the inverting and non inverting terminals of the op amp let us consider them voltage a and voltage b the op amp is powered by vcc and is the other terminal is grounded uh, and the output is taken from here now let us look at the table the table says that if a is greater than b the output will be vcc so if a is 5 volts and b is 4 volts the output would be vcc suppose you have given 9 volts vcc so the output would be 9 volts and if a is less than B the output would be ground here it is ground so the output is ground so you will get ground at the output or 0 volts so you, if, if you don't want the output be, to be ground at this uh, and if you want the output to be uh, 2 volts or 3 volts or any other voltage or consider minus 15 volts or minus 5 volts here yeah, or minus 9 volts you should have to give plus plus something voltage here and minus something voltage here so if a will be less than b the output voltage will be the minus voltage which you have given from here so according to our table if a is greater than b let us consider a to be 9 and b to be 5 
so the output will be VCC. Now VCC is what we have given here. If we give this 9 or 10, 12 volts, the output will be 12 volts. And if B is greater than A, the output output will be ground. So this is how basically a comparator works. Even if the uh, voltage A is 0 0.001 volts and B is 0 0.002 volts, the output will go to ground because comparators are very sensitive and will work at a very low and can compare to very low voltages. So this is how a comparator works. In the here, I have shown the pin 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 diagram of the 741 IC LM741, and here is a picture of the LM741 IC. So you can use these as the reference. In the video, uh, I am using LM324, which is a called op amp. Uh, the op amp in both of the ICs are uh, almost the same so there will be no difference in the difference in the op amp or the working of the circuit but uh, because I don't have it uh, at the moment I am using an LM324 you can also use the LM324 or LM741 uh, and, and if you have any other op amps please be free to use them the circuit remains the same okay now that we have understood the comparator and the working of the comparator now let us understand the working of this dark detector circuit so basically in this dark detector basically in this dark detector circuit what happens is the non inverting input is connected to a 10k port a potentiometer which is uh, which is used as a voltage divider here so by this voltage divider we select a voltage at the non inverting terminal at which the LED is off uh, we do this by sliding the center tap along the potentiometer so that until so until uh, the LED turns off in ambient room light or the light uh, at where you are present now the inverting terminal is connected to the voltage divider which has an LDR or light dependent resistor and fixed resistor so when the LGR is in light its resistance drops uh, so at the at, at that moment this voltage here at the non-inverting uh, sorry at the inverting terminal is high and when it is kept in dark the voltage across this inverting terminal gets lower so if we consider that when the LDR is at light it's the voltage here is 4 volts and we have selected a voltage from the 10k pot which is 4 volts and the voltage from the LTR voltage divider is at 4.5 volts so in this condition the non-inverting terminal is at lower potential to the inverting terminal so in this case the LED will remain off because the output will be zero so now let us consider uh, let us consider condition when the LDR is in dark in this condition 
what will happen is the resisti the resistance of the L LDR will be high and the voltage here will drop let us consider the voltage has dropped to 3.5 volts in this condition what will happen is the output will be VCC and here VCC is 5 volts and in this condition the LED will glow so if the LDR is in dark the voltage will drop and output will be high and the LED will grow this is the basic principle of the working of the circuit okay now we understand how the circuit works so let us now build the actual circuit and see if it works or not first let us place the op amp in the breadboard now let us connect the LED into the op amp with the resistor or it may burn out so here I put the LEDs positive LED or the anode through the resistor to the output of the op amp now let us connect the LDR LDR is not polarized so we will now place it from here from the positive rail we will take this as the positive rail this as the negative rail this as the negative rail and the outermost uh, rail here as the positive rail and the other resistor to the negative rail and uh, and uh, jumper wire to the middle point of this uh, to the inverting terminal of the op amp now let now let us connect the uh, potentiometer Okay, now I'll bias the potentiometer one side to the positive and one side to the ground and the cent and the center knob of the potentiometer will be connected to the non-inverting terminal of the op amp. Now let us connect these two rails with each other so the outermost rails are now the VCC or the positive rail this will uh, this will be connected to 9 volts battery and the rails next to them are the ground now let us connect the circuit with the battery this is the ground and this is the positive rail another thing that we have forgot is to power up the op amp the op amp won't work unless you power it up so 
the center pin here or the 11th pin is ground so let us ground it and the fourth pin here is the VCC as you can see now our LED is working but uh, there is a problem the LED is glowing continuously so we can say that at the moment the voltage at the non-inverting terminal is more than the voltage at the inverting terminal so to fix this we have to set the potentiometer so that the, uh, the voltage uh, at the non-inverting terminal is less than the voltage at the inverting terminal for this we have to adjust the potentiometer now using a screwdriver turn the knob of the potentiometer so the LED turns off at the ambient room light you are in okay let us now see if the LED turns on when, uh, when we cover the LDR oh as you can see when I cover the LDR with my hand the LED starts glowing again this means we have completed our project successfully and now please use your imagination to make very nice projects out of it as you wish you can make many things with this sort of project or circuit uh, you can make automatic room lighting systems and what not please use your imagination and be free and if you like my video please subscribe to our channel give give up a thumbs up and visit our facebook page and thank you bye bye